Same grip on all three? Hmm, listen up and let's find out. Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf, back at our uh, old headquarters in Richmond Hill. Uh, still going strong here. Paul and Donna and Rob and Eric are doing a fantastic job. They had a great season and they're getting ready for their winter sessions as well. And uh, just dropping by for a visit and I thought, uh, you know, you'd like, uh, you'd like to see the old place again. So uh, our, um, our academy, our winter academy in Quebec City is under construction right now. I'm going to be in, uh, in another location for the next couple of months to get the winter season going. We have a great bunch ready to rock and roll. We're starting this Monday. And uh, today I just wanted to talk to you about, because I have, um, I've had a few questions about, you know, should I have the same grip and the same amount of face closure with my irons as I do with my woods? Well, the answer is maybe. <laughs> so some hybrids are actually designed for draw bias. If you look at some of the older tailor-made hybrids, um, I've had some students say, hey, you know, I'm hitting my irons really nicely. I got a nice tight draw with the irons and I'm snap hooking all my hybrids. Well, uh, you probably have a draw bias hybrid because the center of mass of these clubs is a lot further back from the shaft than with the irons and with the driver, it's even more. Yet certain drivers, depending on the shaft and depending on the loft and everything else, you'll have to close more. How do you know whether or not, you know, you need to do that? Real simple. You get a target, you deliver to your target, you confirm that you've delivered to the target and you observe the ball flight and you see how the ball flies. If the ball is flying high right and it's not coming back, well, you need to close the face more. How do you close the face more? Well, all you need to do, so let me start with, let's say the driver here. So, you let go, you close the face, and then you take your normal grip from there. So this would be a radically closed face for me. However, if I want to go to the target, I could lag deep enough to still get the ball to go there. If the face is too closed, you'll need to lag more to keep it in play. I don't know. Everybody else is trying to lag more, aren't they? That's what you'll see DJ doing. So. And if you feel like, well, that's too much lag and it's putting strain on your body and you're trying to clear too much or you're trying to hang on, well, if you feel the need to hang on to not hook it, it's probably too closed. If you feel the need to manually close it and you're, you know, putting a lot of body English behind it to get it to go towards the target because you keep, you know, slicing it off to the right, well, that would tell you that the club face is way too open. So many of you are looking down at the club face and you're thinking, oh yeah, that's pretty square. And then you have a big surprise and the ball goes too far right. And also the other thing that I want, to, I want you to understand is what makes a wood more forgiving is they, they make a bulge on the face. The face is rounded off. It's not square. Center of mass is further back here and the gear effect is a lot more severe with the woods. So what ends up happening is you're trying to square up a club face that looks too open. And as you're trying to square the club face that looks too open, well, invariably you close it too much and then you end up hooking it too much. So be aware of that. Typically when you let the woods lay on the ground on the sole of the club, well, it'll look very open. Well, first and foremost, go ahead and deliver a shot in the direction of the target and see how the ball flies. Yes, I felt more speed there than there. Good. Yes, I stayed with the target in the direction I wanted to go. And hey, the ball's going pretty much in the direction I wanted to go. Well, then your grip club relationship's pretty good. If it hooks too much, well, first thing is, did I deliver out there or did I deliver down there? That's number one. So get the feel of that delivery out there. If you take, take the club and turn it upside down, give it a nice slash, 
and imagine you're cutting through something, you notice how the hand comes through first, then the shaft, then the, the end of the shaft, and you'll feel how the pronation of that hand goes there. Same thing here. Notice how the, the release of energy is over there, not down there. So you feel the release out there. Yes, I felt a nice release out there. And then you get to see how the ball flies. That's going to give you an idea of how more closed or how more open you need to be at a dress. Okay? So give it the dynamic test and not the static test. Whatever your eyes see, don't trust them just yet. Deliver a few out there and then make your adjustments from there. So I hope that was helpful for you. And, um, you know, check us out in our, in our new... Um, um, live shows coming up very, very soon. And that way, if you have any questions, you'll be able to drop, a, drop us a line and, and then we can handle it right then and there and, uh, and get you on your way to, to success. All the best. Hey, Bruce.